guys, I'm Julia PK, and we're currently here in sunny South Florida, downtown Miami to be exact, standing on what could be perhaps part of the circuit for a Formula One Grand Prix right here in Miami. So from the start straight finish, the circuit runs down this gain for a couple of blocks, passing through what seems to look like an eventual chicane halfway down the boulevard before it loops around and returns down on the same streets. It then heads right towards a high-speed section along Port Boulevard, which crosses this bridge heading to the Port of Miami. It's a very tight hairpin here for the drivers and definitely a heavy braking area before they head back up across the bridge headed towards downtown. Another heavy braking area after the long straight back across the bridge leading to a second hairpin before a run along the waterfront through the American Airlines Arena, which is the home of the Miami Heat NBA team with the pit and paddock area located right next to it. The proposed F1 layout is the first to run across the water and back, although a similar idea was once discussed by Bernie Eccleston and original Miami GP promoter Ralph Sanchez back in the 80s. Some elements of the track resemble the original Miami street race layout, first employed by IMSA in 83, which also used Biscayne Boulevard and ran around the area where the American Airlines Arena now stands. CART was another series to feature Biscayne for two races held in 02 and 03, with Formula E being the latest championship to compete here on the streets of downtown in 2015 during the Miami E-Prix. A Miami race would be the second in the U.S. joining the United States Grand Prix in Austin, Texas. Formula One has long sought to broaden its presence in the United States, and it's clear the hope is that the two long straights, both of which are followed by heavy braking areas, will contribute to some Baku-like action. Now, whether a Miami Grand Prix will happen or not, and whether this is the actual track layout of the race, is still to be seen. So be sure to check back on motorsport.com and autosport.com for all the latest breaking news.